folks, welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming today in Monroe. We're at Monroe Furniture Center. Later, we're going to be chatting with the owner, Jerry, about appliances. So mm -hmm. stick around for that. Recently, Janet, you caught up with Dr. Angela Cody. I did. Village Smile Care is a dental office out in Mount Horeb. Dr. Angela Cody is the owner and went out and spoke about dental x-rays. Mm. You know, it's kind of like, I always wonder, do I really need it? Because they're a pricier part of your your dentist appointment. Right. So we ask her all the hard questions. If you're looking to trim your dental bill, some folks consider skipping the x-rays, but is that really a good idea? How important are they and how often should we have them? Here to answer those questions and more is Dr. Angela Cody. She's here at Village Smile Care in Mount Horeb. Thanks for letting me come back and ask you about dental health. Yes, thank you. So, we need dental x-rays, I presume, yeah? Yeah, so we always do a visual exam, but there's so many areas of the mouth that we can't see visually, um, and they're very important to check. So without them, we're missing a lot. And a lot of things, if they're caught early, can be treated more conservatively. For example, about 60 to 75% of cavities start between the teeth where you'd floss. And without x-rays, we just can't see that area. And if we wait until we can actually see them, a lot of times the decay will already be into the nerve requiring a root canal. So it's important to detect the cavities between the teeth. Um, other types of x-rays can show us bone levels and check for bone loss, as well as seeing cysts or things that might be developing in the jawbone that we wouldn't be aware of without them so it's really important to see those areas both you know on the x-ray that we can't see visually. Mm -hmm. What types of x-rays do you do here? Um, so most of the typical dental x-rays that are done are um, bite wing radiographs which are the ones that show the upper and lower jaw at the same time um, and those mostly check for cavities between the teeth and bone levels. Uh, a periapical might be taken to see the root structure of a single or multiple teeth. Um, this machine here takes a panoramic which goes around the head that's um, good for orthodontics to see the roots in the bone, also checking for cysts and tumors, things like that, and any problems with the roots, and also wisdom teeth. And then we also have 3D imaging, CBCT, which is a newer technology that shows three dimensions instead of two. So that's useful for planning things such as implants, checking bone density and levels, and also looking for canals and cracks in teeth for root canal treatment. It is really amazing how much dental care has come along over time. Mm -hmm. How often do we need to get the x-rays? Um, it really varies patient to patient. We tend to customize that. Um, patients that are at higher risk for cavities might get them as often as every six months. Um, but a typical patient about yearly is good to check for the cavities and then getting the full series of either periapicals or panoramic to check the bone and roots is about every three to five years. Okay, so sometimes, well I think anytime we talk about x-rays you can't help but think about radiation. And how much exposure are we getting? Should we be worried about that? Well, that's a common concern a lot of our patients have, and I think it's kind of a, a misconception that you're getting a lot of radiation. Um, dental x-rays are very focused, so we use a small cone and it comes in and only gets the area we need. And so that is you know, less radiation than medical x-rays for sure. Um, a typical dental x-ray, I have this graph that shows some interesting facts, but you know, eating a banana even exposes you to radiation. And so the typical amount of radiation we get just in daily life from the environment is about the same as a full set of dental x-rays. And so it's actually less than a, a flight, you know, like a one to two hour flight is typical of what a full set of dental x-rays are. Um, a single image is only two microsieverts. Just to give you a range, uh, the full set would maybe be about four to 10 microsieverts. And a flight would be you know, about that same amount. A chest x-ray is five times that, and a mammogram is 3,000 microsieverts. So oh it's very, very minimal. So the dental, it's very small, um, and there's been lots of things that have decreased that radiation. And what can we do our, ourselves to reduce any exposure, even though it sounds like it's small? Yeah, it is. So we recommend, um, you know, we use aprons and thyroid collars as needed, depending on the type of x-ray. Um, I also recommend finding an office that uses digital. It's about 70% less radiation than traditional film x-rays, so that can help lower your dosage for sure. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, and if people want more information, just to kind of read on their own, where do you recommend them going? Um, the American Dental Association has a lot of great information, so if you visit www.ada.org, you can get some good tips about when you should have x-rays specific to you and radiation dosages. Or you can just come to Village Smile Care here in Mount Horeb and talk to Dr. Angela Cody yourself. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We're Girl Talk. Stay close. We'll be right back.